Hi, it's my time to shine. I will be covering the Gemini already. Let's see what date it is. From December the 21st to December the 30th. I don't want that coming near me like that. This is what we designed for the Gemini's for December the 21st to the 30th. You're going to take what resonates. You're going to leave the rest. This is a general read. Happy holidays to everyone. The ones that celebrate it and the ones that don't. I want to do your overall energy. Cooking my dinner. Uh, the moon tried to come out. Something hit. <clears throat> something hit, but I'm not taking it. And watching football. So I'm doing four things at once. My team is the Packers. Crack the hell up. Bottom of the deck is the tower. Something was built on a faulty foundation. And now you got to start from the rut. Wow. From the gate. Let's see what y'all up to this time. Y'all can't stay happy. Y'all be happy one day, then go back down to some other shit. That's that's because y'all got y'all two faces. Y'all got two sides. Good and evil. Bottom line. And real good and evil. What is the energy surrounding Gemini? What's the energy surrounding Gemini? Empress. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, Libra, Taurus in your past position. Or you could have been dealing like dealing with like the Empress. Uh, for most I know, you could be embodying the energy. Could indicate a pregnancy as well in the past. What is the energies for my Gemini's? Present is the emperor energy. Could be dealing with an Aries or embodying in that energy. That's somebody like the ball status. You also got the ace of pentacles. The universe giving you a card of some type of abundance. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. You got a couple energies here so far. So we're going to see what's the energy that's going to surround this empress. What is the energy surrounding this empress? The queen of swords, which is your energy. The cut bullshit and get truth and clarity of a situation. The Empress is higher than the Queen. So right here I see is two different people in your reading already. What is the energy surrounding this Empress? You got the Page of Pentacles. Somebody younger than you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. What's the energy surrounding Emperor? You got the Ace of Swords. Cutting through bullshit with truth and clarity of a situation. Gemini Libra requires energy. Seven of Pentacles reverse. Capricorn Taurus verbal energy. What is the energy surrounding this Ace of Pentacles? Yep, third party situation. But it's see, or it could be a celebration. We're gonna wait. Then you got the Queen of Rods trying to make something happen. Sagittarius energy. Okay. In your past, I see that you had the Empress qualities. Then you got the Queen of Swords. You 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 cut through some bullshit. Um, maybe with somebody that was younger than you. This page could be a man. It could be a woman. But maybe somebody that was younger than you that was offering you some type of um, money, abundance. Or maybe offering both of you the same thing in the past. I see the Emperor's here, which is Aries energy. You could be dealing with the Aries, or you could just bottle their energy. You can bottle their energy with their mean and nasty energy, but his is upright. So this is somebody that's that's better than the king, got everything organized. They just boss it, and it's a baby boss. So I see the universe gave you a sword to cut through some bullshit because something about the pinnacles ain't right. Maybe the Emperor is not giving you all that you want. Which wouldn't be surprising. They don't really give nobody all what they want. <laughs> they wrap everything around themselves. Let me drink a cup of water. Or a sip of my water. 
Listen. Chill out. For your future, you have the Ace of Pentacles. Some type of abundance. New beginning from the universe in the situation. Maybe for you coming up out of a third party situation, perhaps. And the Queen of Rods want to make something happen. So you got the Queen of Wands, Queen of Rods, Queen of Swords, the Empress, the Emperor. Three of Cups reverse. The universe give you a card of abundance. What I'm seeing here, and with the seven of uh, pentacles going around, this emperor don't have enough pentacles to go around with all of you like y'all want to. Because remember, he's a narcissist. It's self-sufficient. So he got to make sure he has shit as well. So you got to remember that. And they kind of tight too. Let me get... So... I would just leave y'all reading plain, but it's just, it's no reading because I don't know really what's going on, Rosie. Let me a little every time I do my reading. My food in the oven. I need your help. The card that fell was the Ten of Cups, but that just fell while I had the cards in my hand. But anyway, back to the reading. What I see here is in the past, there was an empress. Which is Capricorn, Libra, Taurus. There was a Queen of Swords. Which is Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. Then you got this Page of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This is what was going on. In the present, we have the Emperor. That's looking at the Empress. See, if you look at these two cards from the past and the future, he's looking at the Empress. Like, he was this way, looking at the Empress, which I would have to do it this way. See what I mean? Camera beat. He's looking at the Empress. But as I always tell you, the Empress head say straight no matter some foul, fall, fraud, foolery shit, she don't care. She never shows her emotion. And the universe... Gave you the Ace of Swords to cut through some bullshit that was going on. With the Seven of Pentacles, money ain't right. Something going on. And it seemed like that they, the universe gave you the Ace of Swords, but it don't seem like you cut nothing off. You just was focusing on the Emperor money and what the couple cents he was giving you. I keep that shit real. You never used it. So the universe said, okay. You ain't going to use the sword to cut and get truth and clarity out of what's going on here. Why the money is how it's coming to you. Why? Why are you getting that little bit of money when this is the baby boss? His money long. He got a lot of money. Why is you only getting a couple cents? This, this is the real deal. So the universe gave you another blessing of abundance. Of a new beginning. Of some money coming to you. For you to get up out of this third party situation. Because it's not going to bring nothing but drama. He's dealing with three different women. Which one is the queen of rods? How I know? He's the empress. You got the queen of rods. You got the empress. And then you got the queen of swords. Bottom line. With. The three of cups, three different women, three different men, whatever it may be. This is what he's embodying. The universe don't want you to have nothing to do with this. So he's trying to give you money so you could cut through the bullshit or abundance of a new beginning and something else to leave this emperor alone because this is what he's doing. And honestly, that's what they do. They give you penny pitches because they got so many they take care of. A fire sign he could be dealing with or she. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Then you got the Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And then you got the Empress, Capricorn, Libra, and Taurus. He got a whole lot of stuff. You got this Page of Pentacles here as well. 
He want to offer somebody some type of abundance, a new beginning, but it's nothing but a page. So ain't none of the queens looking at him or the empress because he's a page. He's nothing. He has nothing to offer them. So he's just there trying to offer offer something because he already know what this emperor is doing. He's playing all of you. But y'all ain't paying him no mind because y'all like, he a page. I'm a queen. I don't want him. That's how that is. And the universe gave you opportunity. Susie came in to cut through the bullshit and, and, and get your heart back in check. But you ain't want that because you only was looking at the couple of sets he was giving you. Not knowing that he giving all three of the use the same amount of couple cents. So what we're going to do, we're going to go clarify because he doing him. And we want to see. We're going to go start with this empress to see that she get up out of it. Because she don't, no matter what, she don't deal with foolery. What's the energy behind this empress? Yeah, the moon. Yeah, something was hitting. Yeah, something was hitting from this empress. Believe that. But we're going to see something. We're going to see what's up. You, and that's a Pisces energy. So he could have been dealing with a Pisces as well. What is the energy surrounding the Empress? What's the energy surrounding the Empress? The Magician. She have everything to make something happen. She going to find out everything with the Xfinity symbol that he's up to or she's up to. That's just how it is. Her intuition is strong. She already know. You also got the Knight of Cups. Reverse. Somebody was trying to offer a cup of emotion. Or somebody was coming fast to tell her about this emperor. What he up to. Because that's just how it is. That's what I'm getting. We're going to go see what this page of Pentacles was talking about. What is the energy surrounding the page of Pentacles? Oh, okay. We're going to take the two that came out, really three. You got the temperance. Like, he was patient. Like I told you, none of y'all wanted to deal with this one because he's just a page and everybody queens. So, he had patience. He waited because he already knew, too, what the Empress is doing. He synced it. He been watching. He been watching. He been watching all of you and watching the Emperor. So, he knows what this Emperor was doing. And this the other card. He not happy about the situation. He seeing none of y'all happy. And it could be a Leo that's significant, which with the Queen of Rods, he could be messing with a Leo as well. Is messing with some with you as well for my Geminis. We're gonna see the Queen of Swords. Cause she cut through the bullshit to just get truth and clarity. And she kept her head straight. She did she's not staying around. And neither was the um Empress. Got four cards. I'm gonna should have took them, but I just wanna try to. Okay, Queen of Cups now. Ain't this some shit? It could be that this Queen of Swords is in her emotions as well. Cutting through the bullshit to get truth and clarity. But her emotions intact. We want to see what else about that Queen of Swords. What's the energy surrounding the Queen of Swords? Damn. Too many cards. Got the star. Something she hoped and wished for, which is Aquarian energy. He could also be dealing with Aquarius. Or she. The hangman. Just stuck in a suspended state. Because this is where she want to be. She not trying to move forward or do none of that. She just standing still with her head straight, as I see. So, the queen of cups. I mean, the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords, they 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 move. They not for it. This is the past energy as well. And the Emperor, she already knew. She had intuition. Now, we're going to go. We're going to see what this Emperor up to. We're going to see what's, what's coming for him. What's the energy surrounding the Emperor? Yeah. Like I said, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, which that's the Empress. This is somebody this way that have everything. They cooling. Right now, they mad. Their pentacles are all out of order. It could be. Because the Empress, the Emperor supposed to make sure he he makes sure home is good. He's baby balls. So right now things is out was all erect. That's how come they everybody was looking at these pentacles. But set that Empress. She don't deal with bullshit. She don't need her money because she got everything. She hired in the queen. But others was just looking at his couple of dollar sets. Like he was still giving the Empress money, but that wasn't her main thing. Loyalty was because she got her own money. And everybody else was looking at what he was giving them. 
And he didn't even have a lot to give because he had to split with too many people. That's the seven of pinnacles reverse. His money was really nothing. So, yeah, he was dealing with a Capricorn energy because money, look at this. Whammy again. Seven of pinnacles reverse. He was giving her penny pensioner. And the empress is, is wise. This is what the empress, emperor do to the empress and to all the other ones he deal with. And y'all need to go read Aries reading because this is how they roll in real life. Look, Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Rods. Like he was dealing with a Capricorn. And somebody ain't making nothing happen with him, which is the Queen of Rods. And you got the Queen of Rods for the future. Because he was penny pitching the Queen of Rods as well. Which is Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. That's deep. That's what I got for him. Let's go see what the Ace of Swords, when the universe gave you a sword to cut through this bullshit, but you didn't want to do that because all you were seeing was, was a couple of dollars. Yeah. They coming up out of getting away with something. They was getting away with something, but everything coming up out now. So you see how he, he how he got away with these? He, he These he had to t leave. He couldn't take these. It was too much to carry. One, two, three, four, five. He had five different women that he was getting away with shit. It's coming out now, so he got to go. That's why the universe gave you the Ace of Swords, because the divine know what he was up to. But like I said, nobody was seeing nothing but a couple cents. They was looking at the couple dollars he was giving. And as, as him being a baby boss, that's nothing. Okay? That's what I'm seeing. So I'm going to go to the Ace of Pentacles when the universe in the future gave you an Ace of Pentacles. For a brand new beginning. Even give you a gift of money to leave that alone. And yeah. The will of fortune. Good luck is on your side. I guess you start waking up. You start waking up. You start waking up. Because the bottom of the deck is a lot of commotion. Everything is all out for all to see. So let's see. What is the energy surrounding? Okay. Nine of cups. You unhappy. Emotions is all over the place here. Yeah. But you already knew this way before this happened. You just was looking at something he was offering you. Couple of eyes. Universe, spirit guide, holy angel. What's the energy behind the ace of pentacles? What's the energy? Two of swords. You coming up out of being blind. And at a crossroads, you starting to see everything for what it is. Now you are. Now we're going to go, we're going to clarify this three of cups coming up out of a third party situation. And this is not the emperor coming up out of this third party situation. Just always know that this is the three women that's coming up out of it. So he's not going to have zero or if he has six, three is gone because they're not dealing with it. They're queens. And one is the empress. She got the intuition. She kept it moving. She didn't sit around. She didn't care about them couple dollars. Listen, three cards came out directly for you. For the three of swords, the universe gave you another another blessing to cut through the bullshit with clarity and truth and move forward. And it seemed like that you're about to do that because somebody think they got the whole world in their hands. And this is like the this the emperor energy. They think that they got the whole world. They run the whole world. They could do what they want, and that's not it. But you cut through that bullshit, but it's a lot of jealousy. It's a lot of commotion. You see what I'm saying? It's a lot of jealousy. Because they get jealous when you leave. That's what I'm seeing. So I'm going to clarify the ace still. One more card for the ace. Yeah, Knight of Rods coming across. They want to make something happen. They trying to come fast to tell you something. But you, you, I don't know where you at yet. I didn't get to the end. But they, they, they trying to save because they, they want to make something grow. They made something grow with all these people. We're going to go clarify now the Queen of Rods. Who this woman is. Who this man is. Wow. This is somebody that's still bound up. And they don't see that. They just see these pinnacles he or she giving them. They're not seeing nothing else. They bound, blonde, everything. Feel like they can't move. And with the tower, something was built on a faulty foundation that came tumbling down. So, did they move forward? I don't know. I'm going to see. Clarify this tower. Why is the tower here? Somebody is coming up out of something that they lost. Maybe they did. They, they stressing about losing this person.
Yeah. They went in within and meditated about this. This is Virgo energy. But they're not trying to leave the past. They still stand there with the swords. They still stand there. So this is you, Gemini. You ain't moved forward even after you found all this. You still staying in that bullshit. And the page of rise is still trying to make something happen with you. So right there, that tells you, no, you didn't move forward because you only seen a couple dollars. Everybody else is smart. They ain't with that. What is the overall energy for my Geminis? Reading for December the 21st to the 30th, 2020. Is the King of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So somebody will be about their money. Or he still will be messing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. That's what I'm saying. I'm going to get a love oracle so I can end this. Because this reading is long. But yeah, you still blind. Because of a couple of hours. People crazy. People will stay at anything for a couple of hours. Crack the hell up. He may got you, but he mad the other ones is gone. Because always remember, his heart is really deep with one. And this King of Pentacles, this could be a Taurus involved in this situation. Could be a Taurus woman. Deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. Yeah, you're going to go through all of that because you didn't take that risk. So, with that being said, I'm going to end your reading, but Gemini... Get out that energy. A couple of dollars ain't nothing. You stay. Everybody, I just explained to you how everybody left, but you stayed. Crack the hell up. It tells what your mental is and your intelligent level is. Happy holidays.